Thank you. Hello, welcome back to Space Run with the Red Angus National Show 2024, and we're busy with the juniors. Uh, the junior males are coming in now, and what a class! In, in the previous class, 26 to 30 months, I think, yeah, was a class. Um, they were. They even got Mr. Butler thinking for five minutes, and that does take a lot out of. That just shows the quality that is here at the moment. I've got Carly next to me. Carl, um, what a show the Angus putting together for for 2024. It's an amazing show. Yeah, it's a magnificent event we've put on. Um, I think our council and the organisers of the show, I think Rudy Clarkson, can take a lot of credit mm -hmm. for it. But I mean, if you look around the tent, mm. the effort that's got into the fine details yeah. of the show is it, it's top quality. And in Capital, we've got top quality cattle on the show. Yeah. Um, I must say, the, the Angles boards just have the, the presence in, around them in the young age of two years and, and younger. Um, they, start, they have the presence, have that, that um, easy fleshing, and a lot of breeds are still working towards that. It seems like the Angus is already there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if, if you look at the, the cattle in the ring at the moment, mm. often people talk about muscling and they expect mm. to see hard muscling on animals. The Angus breed is known for, for soft yielding flesh, so it's, a, it's a, softer, a softer muscle, which probably explains why we're renowned for our carcass qualities. Um, it, it's not your hard, knobbly muscling. And, and the bulls in the ring at the moment perfectly uh, display that soft yielding flesh. Yeah, exactly that. And, and that is where, when, when you hear uh, DJ talking about we were at the at the um, show the other night um, at the top. Uh, you said you know in, in, all of the breeds needs a little bit of extra flesh, uh, easy flashing that they can work to. Angus sort of has that already. They you guys can now sort of go to perfection <laughs> almost because it's, it's an it's a new or try and perfect. You'll never be perfect, but you, you now can work towards something else as well. Yeah, for sure. I hear what you're saying. I mean, mm. we we definitely are, are at a stage where where we have an animal that is. Uh, I want to say completely mm. fleshed. Um, so yeah, you, you, you're pretty correct in your in mm. your statement there. Um, but to get perfection, yeah, no, that's just I, never going to happen. That's impossible. <laughs> um, I said, you know, I, I heard people sitting next to me. I said, yeah, they, they bulls aren't this big uh, in the Angus breed, they're in the Karua. Um So it's also an animal that will adapt to its environment, and the environment will determine what you know end of the day what you have. Yes, a lot of these bulls are, are quite big for their age. Um, which in, in other areas might just catch up a little later, which people I think should understand when they look at these young bulls. Yeah, for sure. Look, I mean, type, type is always going to be mm. determined by environment. And, and you, you're looking at the pinnacle of the breed here. Yeah. You're looking at, and not in terms of, of felt bulls, you're looking at the pinnacle of show bulls. Mm. And, and this is their domain, and there's an area for these bulls. Mm. Um, but but the, 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 the interesting thing about the judging today is that placed functionally efficient cattle and the type and kind that is being placed is the type and kind that can survive on, on, on farms. It is not, they haven't gone for the ultra growth bulls, uh, the high performers. Um, PJ's definitely stayed middle of the road. Functional cattle, yes, they've been done for the show, they look yeah, boy, they, but you have, to. <laughs> if, if you have to if you want to yeah. compete. I mean, this is a competition, it's, mm. let's not beat around the bush here. So, but he still placed the animals that are functional, that will fit into the, the real world for cattle farms. Yeah. Um, in the previous class, he, said he, he did look at the scrotum and testicles and said, listen, he would have liked to have a, 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 a bigger scrotum on, on, the, on the one bull. And, and that's sort of one thing people need to remember. We need that fertility. And the scrotum size and fertility is got a direct correlation. So even in the show ring, that should be important and people should remember that. Look, so, so in, in terms of... I'm going to talk to you after this. This is an exceptional, exceptional lineup of red bulls. And again, there's nothing extreme here. Um, these are just bulls that have muscle, enough mass. They're certainly masculine enough. They're sound enough on their feet and legs. They optimum in terms of bone. Uh, you know, you're putting too much bone on cattle, and I think for fertility purposes and functionality purposes, optimum's always going to be better than maximum. So I like the amount of bone that we put on these cattle. Testicle size and shape is exceptional. The foot shape and the foot size is these bulls, uh, and they've got that that balance of muscle and easy fleshing ability. Uh, I think this is an exceptional lineup. Uh, there are several different ways we could go. 
Uh, I'm going to reward some skeletal structure, uh, some balance, and then that mass and muscle power and masculinity uh, that we expect from these bulls. need our bulls to be full of punch and grunt. We don't want to be masculine bulls. Exceptional set of bulls. Congratulations, guys. We'll pick you a champion. Okay, we were busy talking about fertility and scope of science well, before we got interrupted. Uh, what you were about to say. So, it, it, I'll sound like a stuck record mm. repeating what Peter just repeated. Mm. He's, he's choosing functional efficiency, he's choosing functional traits. Bulls have to be able to walk. Bulls have to. Fertility is an important aspect that makes cattle farming profitable. That is why. The, yeah, your the factory has to work first. <laughs> the, 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 the shape of the scrotum, the suspension of the scrotum has to be correct. The animal has to be sound on its feet. It's got to be able to move. There's got to be structural integrity in the animal. He's not just going, which is the heaviest bull in the class, let's mm. make the biggest one champion. It, it, we, we're way past that. They're placing all the, 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 the traits that are relevant mm. to commercial farming. Now you can see from behind, you can just see how well they stand on the on their feet, they keep they balance and uh, that's the sort of bull that you want to be your champion. Hundred percent. And when you take careful note of the bulls that get placed down in the class straight up, it's all the bulls that, that battle to walk. Yeah, that, that their skeletal problems, um, their structural problems and they get, and they get, shift, right they get shifted down. Yeah. Um, but these guys that wins yet to make it really go and say, listen. I've beaten a very, very good class because this was an extremely strong class. And, um, and I think when the senior bulls come in later, and we have a, uh, the bulls, the bulls, uh, the overall bull show champion, this is going to be a tough class. I think BJ might have to take 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So uh, there have been one or two classes today where he's actually, you can, you can see he's really mm. scratched his head on. I mean, that's testament to the breeders mm. and the quality of animals. That they brought brought into the ring, and I mean the two the two bulls that are standing there now are, are prime exhibits of, of top end animals. So yeah, I think the, the quality of the cattle has really made Peter's job pretty tough today. Mm. Um, but he'll enjoy it. Yeah, and uh, John, if you can just you know, give our uh, special uh, winners a little view here, just look how broad they are on the shoulders, uh, but still soft in the still soft. The weapon. And he's pretty amazing. So the bulls, I mean, he's got excellent widths right from the front through to the rear. He carries his widths properly. And, and the, the secret with the Angus being a carving his breed is that those shoulders need to fit in neatly with the width. And, and the bull in second place there really displays that nicely. The, the shoulder structure is, is near perfect. Yeah, good scroll to both of them. Um, and they both walk very comfortably. So I think well deserved and well picked uh, yep. by Mr. Butler. Should we give him a. A a up. We can give him a thumbs up and buy him a yellow. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, as they walk out, thank you for joining us today. Uh, we're going to talk to you a little later in the senior championship. Yeah, and uh, you're not showing at all, or are you tomorrow? No, actually, yeah. we, we're one of the lazy breeders. We come here and <laughs> so just enjoy sit, it. sit on the side, have a beer, and you, <laughs> you make comments, and it's easy to make comments <laughs> from the side when A, you're not judging, and B, you don't have cattle in the ring. So, yeah, but it's, it's for us, it's an absolute treat. I mean, we are in Bloom for the week. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's an absolute treat to actually just be uh, sit and just watch cattle. I mean, probably one of the more ideal things to do, in my opinion. <laughs> See you on the senior side. Cool. Cheers. See you guys.